happy Monday morning. I told you all I would do a get ready with me chit chat type thing about everything that happened. Let me adjust this light because Jace Eric's been messing with it. All right. Um, so I live in Texas. Last week, the weather was not the greatest. And it really wasn't the weather as people are seeming to think it really had nothing to do with it. We've had a little bit of snow. Now we didn't have snow that stuck to the ground for a week. <laughs> it melted Friday. <laughs> Never had that in my life where I go to sleep and there's snow on the roofs around me and on the ground. And I wake up the next morning and it's still there. Never really had that. Um, but that really wasn't the problem. The problem was Monday night the lights went out and they didn't fully come back on until Wednesday or Thursday. Like before that, we had rolling blackouts and with the lights out, the phones were out. Um, I'm guessing because the towers didn't have power because I couldn't get nothing to work on my phone for Eric, which was really fun. Um, I did find out if I'm going to be without power that I prefer to be without power in the cold. Hear me out. <laughs> then in the middle of the summer when we just had a hurricane and we have a hundred and something degree weather with a hundred and something degree um, humidity which makes it feel hotter. <laughs> um not degree, percent humidity, which makes it hotter. I did figure if I'm gonna be without electricity, at least it's in the cold, cause you could put more clothes on. You can't, you can put a lot of clothes on and stay under your blankets and snuggle for heat with your family. You could only take so many off and still be hot. So I tried to find the good in it and that was the good I found. Um, I my car was frozen shut literally the doors were frozen shut now birds decided to poop all over it so that's just awesome you know <laughs> I went outside to get my niece yesterday when her mom brought her back and there was bird poop all over it's like the birds came home and said they just wanted to poop all over everything because they were mad that it got cold. <laughs> we're with you, birds. We're with you. <coughs> um, everything at our stores basically is out. Anything that wasn't bought out, they had to throw away because they didn't have power. When you, that was um, Wet n Wild Dewey Finish. And this is going to be Becca Ultimate Coverage. I don't even know if this is the right color. Um, probably not. But I was just trying to find something. So I could get this video up for y'all. Let's go ahead and blend this out. Um, what didn't sell, had, some of it had to be thrown out because no electricity. Some people didn't have electricity. Some people, if I'm not mistaken, still don't have electricity, but it's not as many as it was before. My mom only lost electricity for one day or so. And I felt so bad because people who didn't use, lose electricity on Monday, um, I posted because that was the coldest day. I posted, okay, we did our time. Time for the electric company to do y'all's rolling blackout. We already did ours. <laughs> and my uncle that lives in Harris County um, messaged and said, thanks a lot. They took my electricity away. <laughs> I was like, I didn't think they were actually gonna do that. <laughs> But they did, which is fine. I mean, fair is fair. 
Some people lost it and never got it back till Friday or still haven't got it back. So that was the electric grid. Water. Water is interesting. The boil water notice for us just got lifted last night. Um, they were shutting the water off and they were turning it on for three hours at a time one day and then one day they turned it on at 8 a.m. and shut it off at 8 p.m. because they were going around looking for water leaks in people's yards or I guess they were looking at the meters if the meter was moving a lot they knocked on the door to find out if they were using it and if they weren't using it they shut their water off it keeps them from getting high bills and it also saved the water supply because it was running out like one point I turned the water on and it was literally drips I was like yay <laughs> um, this is that physician's formula powder trying to set the face um we the boil water notice came up yesterday and I believe it was Friday that we finally got it for 24 hours Saturday I went to the grocery store ended up in tears because I was looking for milk for Eric and nobody had milk nobody had bread nobody had eggs now I went to one store Kroger's my that um, near here and they had they had no electricity for a lot of the time I think they had generators running their freezers because there were still people in the building but the store was closed one day when I went there so I think they had generators but they had the chocolate milk for Eric and they had eggs I paid more for eggs than I ever have in my life but that's only because they were the organic ones was all that was left and I was like you know what an egg is a freaking egg I'm gonna take it <laughs> um, but they didn't have bread which, like I said, is fine, is what I told everybody. Um, that's fine. I know how to make it. And knowing how to make it in that same post that I posted on Facebook, I told them, does anyone need bread? I will make extra for you. Because bread is hard to come by just like milk and eggs. But I can't lay eggs and I can't make milk um, so but I can help with the bread so this morning when I got up before I did this that's why I went like this because there was some flour on my face I um, I have eight loaves of bread rising right now it takes about an hour for them to rise so I was like, okay, let me get that started, and then I'll go do a video. I'll start putting loaves in the oven. I'll do another video. <sighs> this is actually gone. This is the Wet n Wild. No, this is the NYX. It was actually um, not popping up very well, so technically that goes in the empties. All right, so we got the um, Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Um, because basically I'm just putting makeup on to talk to y'all and put it on for Eric and the bread. So it technically doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm trying to do something. The giveaways, I will, I will do the winner for the giveaway soon. I promise, I promise, I promise. I didn't expect the snowpocalypse. People are calling it snowpocalypse 2021. Some people are calling it snowvid. Um, the only thing that drives me nuts is people making it political. It really has nothing to do with our leaders. Um, our leader, our governor of the state actually got on people think we're not attached to the federal grid or a power grid where we can't connect to anyone we are connected at Oklahoma and Louisiana so technically we can 
connect. And we are connected. But they were having the same problems. I think Oklahoma, he said, had a hundred and something or had some people without electricity. And Louisiana had a hundred and something thousand people without electricity due to the storm. So they can't give what they don't have. Because I know as much as I would like to help people, if my power grid has people out, I'm the government for that power grid. I can't send power to another state when my state doesn't have power in every area. I need to fix my problems and then help them with theirs if I'm able to. That's just common sense. And the other problem that I'm having is the people using it as political. I mean, come on. And then saying we're babies. It had nothing to do with the snow. It had everything to do with the fact that we had no power or water in the snow. That's the problem. Um, the other problem I have is um, the comparison to them. Here's a comparison that'll work. We don't get this much snow and ice, right? And people up north don't get our 100 degree with 100% humidity or 120% humidity or whatever it is, because sometimes it's pretty high. They don't get that. Their houses aren't built for that. So you want to compare apples to oranges. Oh, we may get through the snow. We're getting, we're negative seven. Okay. We are nine. <laughs> we are 19 feels like four. That's fine. You know, okay, you're colder. Congratulations. Oh no, we have 100 degree weather, 104. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? Our houses aren't built for this. We don't have ACs. We have 104 with 100% 100 humidity. We're sitting in the air conditioning. Our houses are built for that. Our houses are not built to keep heat in. They're built to keep heat out. <laughs> and the water pipes are literally like my water pipe. I went out there with some old socks and some blankets and was wrapping the pipe. Our pipes didn't break. I wrapped them pretty good. I took some pool noodles, sliced them, shoved it on there, taped it up, was done. Because our water comes into the house from the outside. It's literally against the outside wall if you live up north. Here's our wall to the outside of our house. Here's our water pipe. Technically, it's not even touching the wall in the, the, half the time. And it goes directly into the roof. And then it goes across in the roof down into the house and the areas it's needed. There's no pipes in the ground, except for the main water pipe. So, there's the comparison. That's what you can compare. You can't compare, oh, we got seven degree, yeah, well, or negative seven, yeah, well, last week we had 50 and we were cold. Um, last summer we got 103 one day and there was no keeping your house cool but you know we did it but like I said I would rather have no electricity in the cold than in the heat because that sucks so I would understand your pain not being able to get warm um, cooled off I would understand that because after a hurricane hits us sometimes we go without electricity for a week and a half so we understand that too, but that would be a comparison. And I'm not a mean person, but that would be the comparison. I'm using the sleek. Oh, that was Morphe. Um, let me see. Pop of blush. Because personally, not everybody up north was being mean. But to compare the weather situation directly cold versus cold isn't the right way to compare it 
the right way to compare it would be what would y'all do if you had our heat? What would y'all do if you had hurricanes? We saw what New York did. Sandy was a level one, if I'm not mistaken, and wiped out Jersey Shore stuff, and people were... Well, level one, we're still going to work. <laughs> we're still going to the grocery store. I mean, that's a normal thing. Level two and above. Sometimes two isn't that bad. Level three, we're in the house. <laughs> we're not dumb. Um, but everything else, we're... It's, it's a hurricane. It's a windstorm. But I'm going to use the Delancey palette. I'm probably just going to use the neutrals over here in this corner. I'm probably not even going to do a huge eye look because, like I said, I'm just baking bread and hanging out with the kid. <laughs> I did, when I had a chance this past week, look at other YouTubers when I had the signal to be able to do it. Um, mostly organization ones and declutter ones, not just makeup. And I found some interesting channels I think I'm going to share with y'all. And there's some projects, some of them did, I might copy and record from Dollar Tree stuff. And I thought that was interesting. But, if you're in Texas and watching this, how are you doing? How did your family do? If you're in the South and you went through cold, how are you? Um, up North, how are you? <laughs> I mean, I'm not singling anybody out. I literally have only had a 11 year old that doesn't talk and Jason for the last week. So, let's have a conversation. I'm just going to deepen the crease up a little with um, like a, I don't know what color this is, it's just darker than what I already put on. It's like a burnt orange it looks like. It looked brown. I love Delancey Beauty palettes, they are so pigmented. But, um, we made it through. I sent Jason to buy ice the first day when we had no electricity. Because my, it seemed like the refrigerator was warming up and I didn't want to lose all that food. So Jason went to Bucky's and bought two 10 pound or so bags, maybe 20 pound bags of ice. We have one in the deep freeze. bad part is he only got six hours of work last week um I think it was Wednesday I got a message um my uncle had been in the hospital for a little while fighting COVID and he lost that fight we thought he was doing good they were about to put a trach in they were taking him off sedation when they took him off sedation, his heart gave out. It had done too much fighting, I guess. They had maxed him out on heart medications, trying to save his life. And he passed away. It was my dad's last brother. My dad passed away a while back, and his other brother passed away. Um, I put a video up when I found out about that one. I still have two of my, three of my aunts. Two are very sick. One just had surgery on her heart, I believe. They're doing fine. She has Alzheimer's, so sometimes when you're talking to her and you tell her who you are, she thinks I'm still a little, a little girl. So it's interesting conversation when she realizes. But I love her, and I want to talk to her. 
I just sometimes don't have a lot of time to do it. Um, but my uncle, his name was Alan, passed away from COVID last week. And then yesterday we got news that one of Jason's, he works with this family doing plumbing and they were his friends his like entire life they lost their dad a long time ago and their mom died of covid yesterday so we've had two covid deaths in a week that's just and then i see these people saying it's disappeared it hasn't disappeared it's just not being focused on because they're trying to focus on the vaccine instead. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of this highlighter in the corner. They're trying to focus on the vaccine, which is fine. But there still are deaths. There still are people dying from it. They're just not focusing on it. They want people to get vaccinated. I'm going to put the, use the L'Oreal Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Um, I'm going to try to get a video up every day this week. I'm going to try to announce the giveaway winner this week. I did add some more stuff to it. I'll probably add some more because I didn't mean for it to go this long. This is um, ColourPop Overnight Lux Gloss. And we're gonna use um, LA Girl Enduring Mauve. And you've made it this far. Put an emoji of the most extreme weather your state gets before last week. And also an emoji of your favorite season. I'm trying to make the emojis not be the same so people can't copy them. I love y'all. I know this look ain't perfect and it was probably really boring. Uh, my throat, my voice is trying to go away again because, well, let's face it, I was sitting in a house that was 20 degrees. Um, I got down to actually 28 the first night and day in this house. So it was very, very um, I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. It'll probably be a boxy charm unboxing if I can figure out where I put the boxy charm before the storm. So, oh gosh, I look like crap. I gotta go check out my bread. Love y'all. Bye.